folks, um, we're going to call the uh, today's meeting, the April 28th meeting of the Lakeville Cable Advisory uh, Committee uh, to order. And we have uh, all of our members, Walter Healy, Tom Sergnano, myself, Fred Beal is here. And I think Jose and Vinci was going to join us later, but we have Bill August uh, here as well. And we also have uh, Neil Connors, who is our governmental affairs Verizon representative. And we're here to talk to him about a, um, a new uh, thought we have about how to approach the upcoming negotiations. So um, having said all of that, uh, as I say, Neil, for us, this is kind of a new strategy, um, and we're looking to avoid a lot of the back and forth. Um, uh, Neil, do you have, uh, are you on a laptop? Yes. Can you turn it a little bit to, uh, so that the window is not, because you've got a lot of backlighting there, and it's a little hard for me to see you. Oh, right. that's a little better. There you go. That's much better. Thank you. All right. So, um, it's, it's new for us, uh, and our thought is this. Rather than um, starting with the usual opening draft and it's the usual boilerplate from one cable company or another, and then we read it through and find what we don't like and we go back and forth and back and forth. Not that, not that there won't be back and forth. There certainly will. I mean, that's what negotiations are all about. Um, but... Uh, we would like to try something different. And that is for your first draft that comes to us, um, accept some things that at this point, if we can take this route, we're willing to accept. For example, we're suggesting that the PEG access support uh, that Verizon provides uh, would use the, the same numbers as we presently have. Uh, that is the, the present 4.0 for GAR, the 0.7. Uh, Alexa. Excuse me? Nothing. Oh, okay. Uh, the 0.7 for GAR and the same capital amounts. Well, okay. I, let me just jump in here, and, and Bill is aware of this. Um, with the termination language, um, you may want to look at capital difference. Okay. Would you explain? So, in Bill, um, Bill is aware of this. Every renewal we've done in the last couple, three years across the Verizon footprint has some type of unilateral termination language. And what we've been using mostly in Massachusetts is after the 30th month, with six months written notice, either party can terminate the license. Oh, yeah. But that has not ever been exercised. That is an excellent point. Right. Bill. Also, I just notice. want to say, Niall, thank you for being here. We all appreciate this. This is great. My pleasure. My pleasure, Bill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It has never been exercised in any any uh, LFA across the Verizon footprint. Right. <clears throat> okay. Um, are you I, saying I, that because of that, uh, Verizon is giving more capital than Comcast in light of it, the, as consideration for the short term? It is still, as you know, Bill, an equitable relationship. But as you know, in some of the contracts, we have paid that peg capital within the first two years so that if we did invoke the unilateral termination, at least the community is whole vis-a-vis -vis the fixed peg grant. Well, but why are you bringing that up in terms of what Bob is saying about starting? Bob, you should explain that your comment about not starting with like one of our drafts, which results in a lot of give and take, was not to was the alternative would be to start, Bob, you want to explain it? Because it's really well, coming. Just, just that um, uh, prior to today's meeting, as, as Neil knows, uh, he was going to uh, send us their first draft uh, on May 6th, which is uh, 
uh, one year prior to the ex expiration date. Uh, and the purpose of this meeting is to see if, you know, do we want to do that? Do we want to uh, try something new? Uh, and, and I'm not sure, before I go any further, I, I'd like to know, I think you were starting to get into this bill, how does the termination language in your mind, Neil, impact our view of the, um, uh, the capital and, and gross annual revenues? Can, can I back up one sec, Bob, on this? to get to the more general point about getting the draft first quickly please yeah the, Niall, well the thing that we think it is different that will expedite it and cause less back and forth and be bet efficient for both sides i think the essence of it bob is that we were saying we didn't just want to leave it to you to oh provide us a draft because then we might just get the boilerplate well, we I said that already, Bill. No, I don't think we did. We we want to start with a draft that was uh, with a. Uh, we want to start. We want the draft to be from one of the licenses I recently did with Verizon, whether it's Holbrook or Holliston, so that it's already vetted. It doesn't mean the town won't review every inch and every word and every line. They'll still review it, but that way the starting point will be something that's already been vetted by multiple municipalities. Because Bob, by the way, those documents, not only, as I told the committee, not only were they vetted by Holliston and Holbrook, they're based on a, 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 a compromise approach that have been vetted by like 10 other municipalities. So the starting point- All right, all right, hold, hold on, Bill. Niall? Okay, so for the record, Bill, and that's an excellent point, I have written a draft of the Lakeville second renewal, okay? It is based upon, and I don't wanna mention the town, but you did Bill. It's based upon your template for one of the most recently renewed contracts you handled. Okay. That so we're not really speak. starting from scratch. We're starting right. from a template that you've used successfully with other Perfect. That helps us because that way we know that the level playing field right, closes. Bill, Bill, let, 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 let Neil finish, please. Yeah, go so, ahead. You know, that's fine. And so, you know, it's got, you know, the public right away. We're not going to really have to talk about that, I don't think. Right. We don't have to talk about the 626 ruling. Right. You know, it has the termination language in there. Right. And I've left the PEG grant blank because you may want to negotiate that based upon the termination language. I'm just trying to be upfront with you. I would hate to say, Bob, that, yeah. you know, I, I don't know what last year, what the, what the fixed grant was, but, you know, paying the fixed grant over five years, which is in the current contract, right. that may not be viable for you vis-a-vis -vis a 30 month. Okay. Now I, oh, yeah. now I understand what you're oh, saying. Oh, now I understand. Okay. okay. So it you're should right. have been clear to me when you said it, but it didn't register. Thank right. you. But Bob, it could still be the same amount just paid out over three years instead of five years. Well, so you, it's you take all, everything's thing. subject to negotiation, obviously. Right. right. But Niall, thank you for pointing that out. Um, okay. okay. Folks, one, one thing I neglected to do here, I, I started to say we have to read the verbiage at the beginning of the uh, this meeting, and then I got sidetracked. So please forgive me. Um, in accordance with the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 30A, Subsection 20, relating to the 2020 novel uh, coronavirus outbreak emergency. The April 28th, 2021 public meeting of the Cable Advisory Committee shall be physically closed to the public to avoid group congregation. However, to view this meeting in progress, please go to facebook.com slash Lakeville. You do not need a Facebook account to view the meeting. This meeting will be recorded and available to be viewed at a later date at http colon forward slash forward slash www.lakecam.tv forward slash. Okay, we've got that done and I'm sorry for getting sidetracked. Um, so thank you, Neil, for that, for that uh, explanation. That does make sense to me. And we may wish to 
go back and reconsider that. But for the, for the time being, for the purposes of this meeting, I think the larger concept uh, is still the same. Um, I, I mean, you, you're going to include your termination language, you're going to include whatever you're going to, uh, right. you know, 626 ruling, whatever you feel you need to include. But rather than starting with what we consider to be Verizon's first boilerplate, and then I'm not, I don't really mean this, but waste time getting through that uh, niggly little stuff, uh, then hopefully we can shorten and streamline the process. So the new strategy would be that the PEG access, the, the uh, uh, gross annual revenues and capital amounts might be the same depending on what the term, how we view the termination language, thank you. Uh, we would like to have a particular model, and you've alluded to this already, of level playing field language that I'll ask Bill to describe in a moment. Uh, we'd like to continue <coughs> the remote video origination exactly as uh, in our uh, existing license. Again, we need to review the impact of termination language. Um, one of the things we, we really need you to understand is what Lakeville was and what it's become. Lake, Lake Cam, which is our access cooperation, has grown exponentially over the last few years and has far greater needs now than it did even five years ago. Certainly going back to when we first got started in 2012, the town has come to depend on Lake Cam, especially during the pandemic. Yep. Uh, Jose has joined us. He's our executive director, um, and Kevin Rutledge is is uh, running the the show for us. Um, things have changed tremendously, as you know. It's impossible. It certainly was impossible. Maybe it's loosening up a little bit. I don't know, but it's impossible for all the committees to meet. We don't even have space, so this remote. Uh, meeting works well in a number of areas, mm -hmm. but Lake Cam has become the place to go as a primary source of needed town information. We have a ton of things going on in town, uh, as, as all towns do, but we've got huge events that are being discussed, uh, and Lake Cam is the only source that we have in town to get that information. We used to have four daily and weekly um, newspapers that covered, mm -hmm. for example, the selectmen's meeting, gone. Yep. I mean, absolutely gone. Yep. Uh, and and Lake Ham has begun, become the only place to get that information. So that means that Lake Ham in, in terms of what they're putting out and the work and the, the personnel and the, um, the increase in costs have all risen. Our needs therefore for the town, uh, for Lake Cam have grown as well. So okay. the needs that we have, I, I cannot stress that too strongly. They have grown as well. Um, so, Again, that's kind of the gist of it. All. I'd like, I'd like Bill. To, I'd like to go back to item number three about that model of the level playing field language. Bill, would sure. you step in there? Sure. Let me just shut this off here. Um, but uh, Bob, that was a very good statement about the. Um, most important thing about renewal is when, as is the case in many towns, the, 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 these operations have grown over the years from startups into central uh, organizations that the town depends on. That was very eloquently stated. Thank you, Bob. Excuse me, Bill. And, and by the way, there's one thing I forgot. 
at some point soon, I, I say soon, at some point, Lake Cam will be moving into a new studio. Right. So there's, there's one more thing to add to the pile. Of right. So I'm, I'm glad you brought that out because we get so focused on the, the legalisms and the this and the that. But that's the interesting backdrop. That makes this so interesting, you know, not only for us, but for the industry. We're, we're part of something that's actually growing in terms of community operations. So uh, I'm glad you looked at that big, brought up that big picture. Thank you. Uh, in terms of how Bob's question about the level playing field model, that ties into we want to start with a, a license that's already been vetted because there are good level playing field clauses and there are bad level playing field clauses. And the ones we have already vetted have the fair ones that are equitable to both sides. Uh, bottom line is it makes the, you know, everyone what a level playing, I, I assume everyone knows what a level playing because I do this stuff, but most people, you know, it's like once every few years. Uh, the level playing field clause says that if Verizon faces competition authorized by the town and, oh, we make Verizon pay 4.7% uh, gross and then someone else comes along and they only have to pay 2%, there's no level playing field. And what the uh, good Verizon level playing field clauses clarify that Verizon can only decrease to a low to a lower level playing field for the uh, annual peg payments and the capital payments if the party that is paying less it has is subject to a cable license you know that's a level playing field in terms of the peg commitments vis-a-vis -vis other cable companies not vis-a-vis -vis 5g wireless right, or right. Netflix and and that is so fair because, I, honestly, we, 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 have, we, we cannot legally require non-cable companies to, if they're at a lower level, we, can't, we, have, we, we don't even have the right to tell a 5G wireless or even a, you know, a Google, someone that's not a, a subject to cable licensing, You've got to come up to the level playing field. That would, we just don't have that lawful right to do it. So we would be, the, the license commitments would be illusory if, if it wasn't uh, the level playing field about the PEG commitments was not uh, relative to other cable competition. With respect to non-PEG commitments that are not as central to the town, there is a procedure uh, for Verizon, if we authorize someone, even if they're not a cable company, with respect to smaller stuff, to initiate a proceeding to request uh, that uh, there be uh, equivalency for the non-PEG stuff, it applies to not just cable. So it's a great so that's, the so that's the modification language. Bill, right, as well. the modification. Yeah. And I think to Verizon's credit, when Verizon, it, it was kind of a brilliant compromise approach that we felt we had a fit, equitable approach with the cable they can't change peg unless comcast changes and on the other stuff the town say all right well we'll be we you know we'll talk turkey with you if modifications are necessary there's a whole procedure where right. you can yep. invoke arbitration and mediation yep. so it's a very nice framework that's what i you know like to see in that because otherwise towns can get a boilerplate license and it doesn't have in there and then they freak out thinking oh no it's God. in there. believe me you you're the language to which you and verizon agreed in other communities vis-a-vis -vis modification level playing field is in there and you know we have the clause in 5.1 whatever that if com if the incumbent which in this case is comcast were to lower its peg grant a peg access amount we could match that my understanding is bill i believe you did the comcast renewal which is fine um i think comcast moved to 4.75 percent yes correct. and i think lakeville is at four percent that's correct so you may want to go to four see that's why i think 
we really need to get a draft in play because you folks right. say, well, gee, I want to go to 4.75. I mean, that's the language allows it. Right. right. The, the, um, the, reason, know, might... the reason why they weren't, we, 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 we were thinking about the continuity and, and I'm glad, but you're right. Every it's new. It's our first meeting. Let's, you know, all sleep on those particulars. We'll, we, so we'll, we'll look at that more closely because I mean, even though the 4.7 uh, ca uh, capital would be a little lower, the, excuse me, if the, yeah, if the no, percentages right. were a little lower, what Bob is, I think where the committee was coming from, but the annual uh, capital fixed amounts would be a little higher on the Verizon side. So that would offset the- Per, the, per year only, not in total. Right, right. but so if you, that, if, that, if, but yeah, yeah. And, and under the uh, model that Niall was talking about, if the current Verizon capital is 15,000 a year, I think it was 15,000 and change on the fixed- No, 16.5. Oh, 16.5. What you would do is multiply that by five. Right. We we got and then, that but then you would have it we paid out question. over yeah. wait, wait. But you then you would have it paid out over three years mm -hmm. instead of five. You divide it by three, so it would be paid up front. All right, we've got a question. Tom, go yeah. ahead. Bill, wouldn't this be better discussed after we have a draft for the yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we're, we're yeah. getting and, into the Neil what we wanted to accomplish point. in this meeting was to just put out a couple of basics so that they right. might be able to insert them. Yes. Exactly. It sounds like Neil has already started to think like right. that. Right. Right. Good job, Neil. Right. He saw uh, what Neil we have was he's working on that. Yeah. So. Right. Well, that's how we like to do it. We all like to cut to right. the chase to a good package. But Tom's point is is the bottom line. It's just an introductory meeting. Let's get the draft. As long as the draft is based on something that's been vetted, then we won't be reinventing reinventing right. the wheel. Right. But then, to, as the town, as Bob said, we'll still review every single thing in it. Right. And, so and, Neil, so, and, and everything other, will be up, up to questions? everything's open for the committee to yeah. change this and change that. This is right. just a preliminary meeting. Neil, do you have any questions about what we're talking about trying no, to do? No, you know, and and I uh, applaud anything we can do to cut down on you know, back and forth. I mean, I think as you and I spoke, Bob, you know, 90% of the draft is language that Bill and Verizon have agreed to in other communities. So, right. you know, it's going to come down to, you know, modification language, the PEG grant, um, the 626 ruling. Video origination. Yep. Yep. So, you know, you know, you do this all the time, Bill, so you know the drill. I mean, right. you know, I don't, you know, and again, what's, what's also helpful, Bob, is this is a renewal of a renewal. You know, we already had the HD, you've, you know, you launched HD PEG, I think in 2019. So we don't, right. you know, it's, right. it's not- Have you guys anymore. ever gone up to two HD PEGs? We have not. That's just, okay, I asked that. I, I, that's no, what no, I, that's a good question. Yeah. Some of these things frankly, are- Frankly, yeah, that was something I was thinking of, Neil, but Bob, we can deal with that another time. Bob, you one thing you mentioned to me this morning or the other day, um, the term of the license, the length. Right, right, yes. Uh, Neil, can can you explain to us something I've never been able to understand? Why is it that Verizon hangs on to the five-year uh, renewal as opposed to the ten? Sure. Good. You know, questions come up. You know, frequently. Um, you know, our competitor has a different business structure and cost model. And I'll let Bill explain it, but our competitor is a Title VI company. We're a Title II company. So there are advantages to our competitor vis-a-vis -vis Title VI with going with a longer term. In terms of Verizon with five years, we just believe from a competitive and regulatory and technological um, marketplace we just don't want to lock into more than five years. I mean, we don't know what's going to be out there in six years. Right and now, he, go ahead, go ahead. Hang on, let him finish. Go ahead, Neil. So, you know, to our standpoint, um, it, in a way, it might be advantageous to Lakeville because come year six, you may come back with a different PEG grant need based upon something that's happened. Also in year six, and this is completely hypothetical, the linear cable business could be completely different. and. Comcast or our competitor I mentioned, is going to have five more years of technological competitive regulatory issues. 
you know, we don't know what the regulatory environment is. And, you know, we think we can handle that over a three to five year horizon, but we just simply do not want to get into six and seven and 10. And that's terms. the reason why you're, you're with the uh, in, inserting the termination language uh, again as a safeguard for you. As a safeguard against competitive regulatory technological changes in the, in the, in the, in the environment and in the business. Yeah. All right. Let me, Bob, do you want to comment on that? Well, no, on the benefit, I, 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 on what... I do, I do want to ask Jose, um, who's our executive director, Neil. Jose, do you have anything that you want to slip in here at all? No, so far, I haven't heard anything that I need to ask about at the moment. Thank you. All right. I have, I have, an, I'm an, all right. And, and, and uh, Neil, uh, that, that was a well stated explanation of the industry, of the Verizon standpoint. But I would like to just also be very clear that <clears throat> what came through to me loud and clear when Bob was going, he doesn't uh, you know why this five year stuff and and we've had past discussions here and everywhere. And even though there are some theoretical reasons why the town might want the flexibility after five years, the towns don't want short term. The towns, it's a hassle. Uh, Number one, there are transaction costs of having to do this and hire a lawyer. The selectmen go, what? Yes, you know, you got it because a five year license, you start again and like the window opens into you. Yes, it's a pain in the neck. Also, the main thing is to we want the uh, the security, the planning. So people who are working in these studios know they've got that oh. 10 years of guaranteed income. So. It is in our interests, I will say, subject to the committee at every single issue can disagree with me and change what I say a month later. And also another mantra, everything we do is always subject. You know, I always tell this to John and Paul, it's my mantra, I'm subject to the selectmen review. As you know, sure, not, sure. we're not the deciders. So, you know, what we do our best to negotiate and, and have a fine a draft emerge that we support but then it's still got to go to all right but on the 10-year point same thing with the the selectmen in every town think it's in our interest to have a 10-year so we if we just want to be on record if some because the policies are changing we're all evolving policies here if verizon changes to a 10-year license term in Los Angeles or Vermont or Maine or somewhere where uh, Connecticut, we want we want to have the bet we want to capture and we want to have an opportunity to say uh, we we too uh, would like to uh, not definitely have that but hear about it have or, the opportunity know, to negotiate yeah because right. that's in our interest that's a sure. big right. benefit I and, I and I agree you know you, you mentioned. Uh, bill the transactional costs. Um, Jose would like to know that he has a revenue stream. It is incredibly unlikely that Verizon is going to go back to 10 year Fios TV cable licenses. It's I recognize that. I know. Yeah. And, and we've had towns, uh, by the way, for the benefit of the committee and Bob, beg for the 10 year, beg, plead. <laughs> and, yeah. and so uh, Neil's right. It's not for lack of trying, but yeah. that doesn't mean we shouldn't. Stick sure, that out as something we want if we can't have it. It really is a pain in the neck, to be oh, honest. And, you know, and, right. and it and it's cost of Verizon doing these every five years. Again, right. again you're doing it once, Bob. We're doing it <laughs> 1,200 times. Pardon me if I don't feel sorry for you, Neil. But, but it, it, again, I, I respect the willingness, the desire for more than five years. That's a nonstop. That is okay. good. Right. That's and an awesome. uh, we've had towns that have pushed so hard for that. And that, and, and it's beyond their control. It's not, it's beyond their right, job. Bill, it's up Bill, to the I corporate think, powers. I think we've made uh, our new approach uh, yep. to Neil clear. Uh, I don't, uh, Neil, do you have any further questions? Do you, anything you want us to clarify? No. 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 Bob, clarify no, the timetable for getting a license. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, that, that's pretty much clear. I mean, I think it's May 5th of next year is, is uh, termination time. And uh, as you know only too well, 
uh, we've had you and I have had uh, discussions on the phone about my being upset and concerned about not starting sooner. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, I we would like to have everything signed, sealed, and delivered through the approval of the issuing authority, the Board of Selectmen. Uh, oh, excuse me, select board now, um, so that we don't go over. Because uh, I have I have concerns about if we do. So we'd like to have everything wrapped up before that May 5th oh. deadline uh, so that we don't run into any issues there. So we and need a draft. Point. We need and a draft, but yeah. I would say within like four weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Bill, oh, oh, you I'm know, sorry. Bill. That, that's... That's what I, I yeah. Bill and I have spoken about this yeah. this morning. I mean, you know, I, want, I don't want to talk about what I'm doing with other communities, but you're the only 2023 community I'm speaking to right now. Okay. So, hey! I mean, we've got, from a Verizon standpoint, given the paucity of issues, termination language, amount of pay grant, level playing field, there's going to be no issue with getting this done in a year. I mean... I promise you. That makes me feel good, Neil, but you'll pardon me if I am skeptical. Oh, okay. Because, yeah. And I don't mean because of Verizon. No, I know. But yeah. just my gen, I've been doing this right. since 1984. You know and the expression, famous it, last words? That's yeah, what my dad yeah. used. Trust but verify. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just forgive me. It, it's just when, like this thing with LeBaron, we thought we had things squared away and something comes up and 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 who knows so uh i i thank you for telling us that yeah. and uh i believe you but i i'll be happy when it's done i guess is what I so should we go shoot for a four week uh to add a, we were yeah, expecting sure. it earlier but we wanted to give you a little more time because we're having a meeting today yep no that's good that's great okay very good i right. Neil, if you have nothing further, Walter, you have something? Uh, just the, uh, how the uh, draft be sent? Would it be done through with the uh, internet? Oh yeah, uh, to, it'll be, I'll send an email to to um, Bill with the attachment and to whomever on the cat. And, and to yeah, it. send it to me as well, please, Neil. Sure. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I will That's forward fine. it to the rest of the committee. Right. Okay, is Go that ahead. okay? Is that it, Walter? Yeah, because I have to, Print it out differently. Right, right. Uh, Tom, you have any questions? You're muted, Tom. There I'm just go. clearing my throat, and I'm. That's uh, <clears throat> That's why I mute myself. You don't have to hear this. So I'm glad to. I, I if I don't want to push this, but I know Tom wants to talk to me about a um a okay. service issue, but it does not relate to files TV. Right. So I yeah, I, I can let like you do that by, by telephone, Neil. Okay, great. Perhaps. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, and, and Fred, can Fred, I just Fred, ask hold one on, hold, yeah. Bill, hold on. Fred, do you have any questions? No, I think a lot of them have been answered this morning. So I think good. it's a matter going forward. Okay, Very good. good. Okay. Hey, Bill, Fred, how are you doing? Good Fine, to meet thanks. you. I just want to make one very technical procedural point for Neil's benefit in terms of like, well, I, I don't question that um, Lakeville requires that this these meetings be recorded, but my, my understand that may be a Lakeville requirement. No, but while while it's state law that they be public and open, and uh, have uh, remote access. It's not state law that they be actually recorded. Well, okay. Let let me just just say this, Bill. I checked with our town clerk, right, and she said they must be uh, public and recorded. That could be a Lakeville requirement. No, yeah. no, no. She made it clear that it was really. It was, I did not. I've not heard that before. Well, I'll I'll let you. Call I don't her doubt it. Tonight. You know, there are so many changes with this pandemic. Right, and Bill, the we got to move technology. on. Yeah, got to move on. Yeah, I would love to uh, get the source of that. Okay. Anything, anything else? Any of the other members? Jose, you're all set. Fred, all right. I'm all set. Neil, you're all set. I'm all set. Okay, we have a little business. Uh, we got to approve some minutes, and then we're done. Okay. Uh, Tom, Good seeing Tom. you all. Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Tom, go ahead. I I just have one question. You know, it's it won't take long to answer. Is like, what, as far as public drop 
public drop, you know, drops into the public buildings in town. Um, has chapter 166A changed? Um, because that covers the requirements from cable. Now, I know there must be changes in that, right? One six, I'm going to let maybe Bill can jump in. 166A hasn't changed, but the FCC has come in with something called 621. That and changes that is, it. Yeah. What, what 621 says, sorry for jumping, is no. that you know how there's a 5% cap on um, the franchise fee? Tom, you that's can't not what on. I'm asking about. No, no, no. They, Bill, the FCC Bill. said the free accounts to the schools. I'm just saying the, it's no longer required that they have to give free drops to the town buildings. Is that the law now? It's mm. still the law that that you have to provide the drop, but the FCC said if it's in the license as a requirement, that drop has to be counted towards the 5%. Oh, okay. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Okay. Therefore, when there's language about those free drops, the company has to add it reserves its right to count it towards the 5% to keep the FCC happy. But then I think on a local level, they're hoping that corporate doesn't make them actually count it towards the 5% because it will be a big pain in the neck. And I think it'll be a public relations nightmare. Oh, indeed. Yeah. All right. So Neil, you're all set. Yeah. Neil, you're all, we're all set. And all right. Neil, we'll we'll be in touch. Uh, obviously, I'll probably give you a call. Um, all right. Uh, just chat for a little bit, but we're all set. Thank you all right. very much. All right. Neil. Great job, Neil. It. Neil and I have like been on. We've never met like oh. face to face, even though I've heard good reports about oh, his responsiveness you. for years. So this is a pleasure. And good job. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, gentlemen. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Neil. I'm signing off. Weekend. All right. Okay, All right. good. And the rest of the committee, we're going to stay on for a bit. Uh -huh. Whew. We're still being recorded, right? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> on Facebook. Okay. The only other thing that we have on the agenda is the approval of the uh, minutes of our meeting from last week, April 21st. And Kevin, if you can give me um, permission to share, that would be helpful. Should be good. Okay, let me, see. all right, why am I not getting, oh, there it is down the bottom. I'm looking for it up top. Uh, that's it, share, boom, all right. This is what I sent to you guys before. Um, does anyone have any questions about the meeting? One thing I didn't include in, Walter, maybe you have, is the time. Uh, I think we began on time, but uh, do you have the time when we adjourned? 1041. 1041, good, thank you. I'll, without objection, I'll amend the minutes to include that. Is there anything else that anyone has an issue with? Not me. All right, do we have a motion to accept? I'll make that motion. Motion's made to accept, is there a second? second. I'll make that second. Oh, Fred, All right, okay. um, Fred, I don't think you can on this, only because you weren't there last Oh, I'm week. sorry, you're, I'm sorry you're correct. Yes. Right, okay, yes, so Walter. It. Walter yep. seconded it. Uh, is there any further discussion? Fred, if you want to discuss, you can here, but. Um, oh, no, that's fine. I, I Sorry, you know. Right. No, no, that's okay. It's been a long morning already. I, I hear you. I understand. All right, any further discussion? None. All those in favor, we have to no. do a roll call vote. Yeah. Uh, Walter? Yes. Uh, Tom? Aye. Uh, Fred, I think you're going to abstain. Yes. Yes. All guys. right, and I'm and I'm going to vote aye. So that's uh, three, three to nothing. The minutes are improved. Okay, gentlemen, I think that's all we have on the agenda. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second motion that. Adjourn. Seconded. Discussion. All those in favor. Roll call vote. Oh, we roll call. Thank you, Walter, for that. Roll call. Walter? Aye. 
Uh, Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. And Bob says aye, so we are adjourned. Okay.